G'day, g'day. So over the last uh, week, from three days before the full moon to three days after the full moon, I've been um, building what I call a little bit of a set and forget garden. Now this is, uh, you put down uh, any kind of dry grass matter to form a good uh, layer of mulch, maybe four inches thick or so. And then a whole bunch of these big dry uh, sticks here. And the dry sticks, they uh, keep off, they're like a fence basically that you don't have to build up, right? Because all the animals come along and they'll spike their faces on sticks like that. And it also makes a lot of sounds that I don't want to disturb in the night. And what's going to happen is little mice are going to nest in here as well. And they're going to distribute this more evenly. And I've put in a whole bunch of cow turds and some pine cones as well around the place. So the, uh, for compost and also because the pine cones and the mulch are going to create mycelium. So also as the, um, the, the bark and the trees start to rot down, they also create more mycelium. So you're going to get a whole bunch of different mushrooms growing as well. So then we've added three packets of our little seed packets. You can get them on our website. And um, yeah, so I try and do this every single month, but I'm on the move all the time. So I'm never really sure if I'm going to be anywhere long enough to get a harvest. But this is the best method I've found to guarantee the likelihood of a harvest. Uh, this one's just done in a state forest. Maybe we'll be back. I don't know, but there's that. So um it's, it's also because it's set and forget farming, that's why it's a few days before the full moon. Whereas if you were to do this um, and you were going to water it in, uh, then you'd probably do it three days after the full moon. But it doesn't really matter. Anyway, peace out. Take care.